Welcome everyone to the Christmas Eve 500 here at Coca-Cola Speedway. Uh, this is my event for the year. Uh, obviously the Christmas event. Uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of your time with your family after watching the race. Uh, trying something different today. Uh, I have fellow Ioma member uh, Fisher G here with me to uh, commentate the race. Uh, now, Fisher, if you would like to uh, speak for a bit, you can do so now. Uh, great. Correct. My audio just cut out for you. Are you still speaking? I, I, my audio just cut out for you. Okay, good. I'm gonna go to Cold Super Speedway. Uh, typically a good race. I hope we won't have pit stops. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it has a mind of its own. Uh, 25 laps here in honor of the... Uh, Christmas Day being on December 25th So yeah 25 laps uh, trying to keep it short and sweet so uh, you can, after like half an hour Which should hopefully be how long this race goes uh, You can go off and uh, spend time with your family like you should be instead of watching a fictional race for cars going zoom around a three-mile fictional oval but, uh, Yeah, I digress but, uh, as you can see, we're using the, uh, 2011 cars, just because they are personally my favorite, uh, model of the, uh, NASCARs, even though they have no manufacturer identity, it's just, I like the 2011 cars. I have no idea how long until we get, get the Commandos fire engines. But yeah. uh, there are forty one cars. Four. And luckily, it's a three mile track, so we'll have more than enough time to go over the starting lineup uh, going through. Well, we have some people, you know, we have some people making their Ioma debut here. Uh, those included are Jeff Hawk, and, uh, Eli Bright, and Will Parrish, and just naming a few. Uh, Henrique Palladino, Nathan Stapleton, I believe Keegan Thompson is also making his debut. Uh, Renato Moreno, Luke Breadstick, Joshua Harrison, just to name a few. I think that might be all of them, but yeah. That is true, I think, as well. Uh, personally, Halloween Havoc was my favorite race. Uh, unfortunate that the uh, Drivers, Scary Skeleton car couldn't win. A uh, command has been given, as I was saying that, but uh, let's go over your starting lineup. A uh, graphic should appear on your screen, which I will do in post uh, shortly after they leave the pit lane. We have Cole Raymond in the 36, followed by uh, Zachary Davis on the outside of the 20. Let's get a better camera angle. I have not used this track much. I think we have issues. Two's blowing up already. That's the 22 of 
uh, Michael Sima. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay then. Wow. Okay then, uh, I'm not going over the starting lineup anymore. Uh, you'll just have to guess that from the graphics. <laughs> well, let's hope that, uh, they all get caught up. <laughs> That's funny. Let's hope they all get caught up. Wow. Michael Seema's race ends before it even starts. Wow. <laughs> oh, definitely not happy though. From here, Joe, it's gonna be a wild. I mean, yeah, the other guys on the inside have already caught up. Here come the guys on the top lane. They go burr. But, uh, you see here, Dale. We have a Dale car. Dale car. Yep, they're already caught up. Yep, here they go, or caught back up. Uh, no, I guess we can count Michael Sima out of this race already before it even starts. Yeah, well, no one cares except Michael himself. Yep, Pace Car is uh, pulling onto pit road now. Coca-Cola, pretty wild track. I've had people uh, flip here, rolling onto the apron. <laughs> a very steep banking, but a. Uh, here comes the 36 of Cole Raymond, leading under the green flag, and here they go. Green flag is out at Coca-Cola Super Speedway for the Christmas Eve 500. Keegan Thompson went with the one, not working out for him to the best of his uh, hopefulness, but we'll see. Here comes the 24, Stephen Collin, to, uh, getting right to the rear bumper of the 43, uh, not quite to the bumper, but close enough. I wonder if we'll see tandems. That's probably my favorite part about these uh, cars. At least in real life, tandem drafts. That was amazing. Will Parrish leads lap one. The yeah, Parrish got a completely left after dry there. Mm. Oh, they're three wide for second almost. And yes, three wide for second. And uh, Stephen Collin getting left out to go as here comes the 14 of Vale Musco. Who, uh, I didn't realize this actually missed the Daytona 500 for the Firefox Cup Series. And now he's going to try to uh, pass Keegan Thompson for the race lead here in the Christmas Eve 500. Oh, and yep, he blazes by him. Uh, 99 to Caleb Rose there. Now he's going to try and pick up the 43. There's uh, the Red Bull. Uh, that's probably my favorite part about 2011. To be honest, uh, I see it here, just Red Bull. I really wish they would come back. Uh, Alejandro Cruz here in the 83, trying to get to the inside. Making it three wide with the 77 and the 78. Uh, Renato Moreno in the 77 and Arthur Xavier in the 78. Still three wide, not able to make the pass. Moreno is going to hold on to that position. Uh, Might have a two-car tandem out here in front, but uh, we're gonna see if Joshua Henderson, the 21, can you know reel them in. And Moreno, who in the 77, who we were just talking about, uh, I believe he was, uh, oh, he was fifth. Never mind. Then uh, he's up the fourth right now, battling for it anyway. And uh, I forgot he's in the 14 already. Vale Musco is gonna get passed by Cody Smart, and uh, here comes Henderson trying to make it a. Uh, even more hurt going from the lead to third. Yes, Henderson's going to make it more hurt for him. And we see that Dale car on the inside lane. I forget who's in the three. Uh, yeah, four. four, 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 four. Uh, 
pushed up to the high side, definitely not if he wanted. After he worked his way up the third, about, and uh, just jumped to the high side and kind of ruined his you own know, race there. John McFadden in the double zero. Like he's going to try moving the inside things better, but I think he's going to try it out of the corner down the front stretch. No, he's going to stay there for now. And we're going to have to see. Yeah, here comes Joshua Henderson. Uh, Henderson and McFadden on the inside trying to get there. And McFadden goes real wide. Uh, Wyatt Floor here now. He's catching up. Uh, in the Marco Sambo's car. And I think we've got the pass for the lead. And Xavier has cleared him. And oh, and here is the 9 to the inside down the front stretch. He's going to try and side drop the 21 and Joshua Henderson. And Henderson and McFadden go high. And uh, Matt, there goes uh, their momentum for now. Uh, Vale Mosco. Uh, I don't know why I say his last name like that, but here he comes back. We see another Red Bull car there in the four of Ryan Benjamin. Uh, and here comes the 18 of Patrick Mahomes. I don't know why someone signed up with that name, <laughs> but they did. Oh, and uh, I just realized Mickey and Wyatt Flores taking the lead. I am going the wrong way and looking at cars. Oh, and Musco goes, here comes Mahomes. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes trying to make his pass for the lead. I cannot get over that name. In <laughs> fact, someone actually named himself that. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be three wide. Oh, who am I? Who's in the 88? Joshua Harrison. Not to be confused with Joshua Henderson. Oh, and I don't think that's gonna last long. Here comes a die going the wrong way. Here comes Keegan Thompson. This is some wild racing here, and... Oh, not able to hold it. Here. Yeah, Lucas Holmes. Uh, man, I remember when he... I used to be in a ton of other leagues with him, and then he got his phone taken away. By his stepdad, who's not allowing him to use Discord. Yeah. Oh, and here comes Ryan Benjamin. I mentioned him earlier. Well, uh, trying to use that Red Bull power. And, uh, unfortunately, they didn't have that much power in real life, but... It's trying to uh, prove the fact that Red Bull does in fact give you wings, and as I say that, he gets passed. <laughs> I need to stop jinxing people. I I regret saying that already. I could I could have said the cringy pun. With, I could have said the cringy pun was Ziggy Rhodes' name after he won the Mountain Dew 300. I could have done that, but I didn't. So I'm spared. I'm spared from that. And Lucas Holmes out quite far. He's going to get uh, reeled in quickly, I imagine. By Zachary Davis and Ryan Benjamin. There goes Cody Smart trying to make a pass for, to the inside. Yeah, he tried it. Not, didn't work. Oh, here goes uh, Benjamin now. Once they catch Holmes, they are, they are going right by him. I'm sure they're gonna wreck at some point. And they'll probably flip when they slide down onto the apron. And oh, near contact there between the uh, 30. Oh, contact! Oh, they're wrecking! Asking you shall receive. It's 
So Zachary Davis, uh, Paul Menard car, I forget who's in the 27, Eli Bright, uh, Nathan Smith, uh, Keegan Thompson, whoever's in the 17, Owen Miles, Zachary Davis. Oh, and your pole sitter, Cole Raymond's involved. Uh, I think, yeah, we're going to have to go back and watch that one. And, uh, we're going to do that live. Uh, the 14. Nope, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't edit anything. Okay, now, okay. Yeah, Brandon Yodel in the 15. Yeah, just pushes him up and comes up on him. So that was the 4, the 31, the 15, the 43, the 20, the 56. Uh, all involved initially. And then, oh, you see the 56 just come right down into the path of the 17. And then uh, Nathan Smith and Cole Raymond, respectively, and their cars are uh, involved. And then, uh, here's where Eli Bright's gonna get involved, I'm assuming. Oh! Okay, then, yeah, that was... That was a bit of a hit right into the nose of Keegan Thompson. And that's all that was involved. So, uh, now they're gonna be single file. Now, once we get back to uh, racing, here they come out of the pit lane. Yeah, all the involved, except for these uh, few brave souls out here. Yeah. No, I don't. Def no one's definitely out. Yeah, everyone's still good. <laughs> Ripped the 22. Never even started the race. And then uh, Nathan Smith, you can see his crew is removed to the hood. That's basically screwed them over. Because I don't think I've ever seen someone with a hood actually come, with uh, missing no hood, actually come up through the field. Or even make a pass. Unless it's just sending it. Now, late in the race. Late in the race. Yeah, definitely late in the race. Uh, but the only time I've ever seen a guy with a hood make a pass was at Myrtle Beach last season in the Mountain Dew Truck Series. Uh, I believe it was Patrick Starr in the 07 just sent it into one corner. Brought out another caution of, that was a race to behold, that was something. He did. That's the 38 of Henrique Paladino. I believe he's from Portugal. I believe the, he's a Portuguese driver. He may also be from Brazil. I'm not sure. Because I, I, I have talked to him. I can't remember. I don't know quite where he's from. Oh no, I'm going to get cancelled. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, yeah, Ziggy, Ziggy Rhodes. Ziggy Rhodes. I, I, mate. Yeah, I had a really cringy pun I could have said when he won the uh, Mountain Dew 300, but I I didn't, and thank God I didn't. I am really glad I didn't, but it is on his uh, the rear bumper of his truck somewhere, but it's really small, so you can't see it. It is on his truck, though. Yep, they're still blinking. I, I don't I just want times like these when uh, we're having long pace laps and I realize I don't have a personality
Oh yeah, but I don't feel like editing. <laughs> nah, screw editing. The only things that... Yeah, but I'm too lazy to actually walk, go through and watch the whole video and edit out clips. Except for one time when I accidentally spoiled a future race. Because I, re I recorded them out of order. I accidentally spoiled a future race and that's the only time I've edited out a clip. <laughs> Let's go. One more lap. <laughs> One more lap of pacing, and I think from then on out they're gonna be single file. That's what's happened in the most recent race I've done here. I'm gonna, let's stop focusing on the pace car. And that. Yeah, he's gotten quite a bit of attention in the uh, Tony Stewart scheme. Your 2011 champion, uh, Tony Stewart, has released two games this year, and the uh, second one obviously being looking like the much better one. I haven't played it yet. But, yeah, I don't know why I said that, but... <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you're into dirt racing, it's a it looks like a pretty solid pickup, except the fact that all the uh, real tracks you ha are DLC that you have to pay five dollars each for. The game, yeah, exactly. Just get an R for your computer. Just get an R two thousand three for your computer. Download a ton of mods and tracks. It's free. It's free, and it's. I definitely say it's worthwhile. It's definitely worth your time. Yep. It's Woo baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Here come the drivers down the front stretch, the slow crawl. And green flag is back out at Coca-Cola for the Christmas E five hundred. It's gonna take a few laps to get up to speed. That's gonna be when drivers are gonna make their moves. Let's actually check the fastest lap of the race. The 17. <laughs> yeah, he got screwed. Uh, no, I guess. It's just wait, wait a few laps. He went to the pace car for a bit there. Here comes Lucas Holmes trying to get a build up with Cody Smart. Lucas Holmes and Cody Smart trying to get something going on the inside. Vale Musco goes down to block them. Okay, here comes the uh, Boner Mobile. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm already. I don't get monetization. I don't get monetization anyway. <laughs> well, he's gonna try anyway. Once, once these guys get formed up, <laughs> once they get, uh, once these guys get sped up, uh, the 14 is gone. But here comes the Dale car, Roy Rippleton. Mm -hmm. No, here goes Cody Smart. Here goes Cody Smart. He's going to have Dale pushing him. And he's going to blow by the 14 with ease. Oh, I think I saw smoke from someone. I think it might have been Logan Williams. I'm not sure what could have caused it, but... Uh, watch for Roy Ribbleton channeling his inner Dale Sr. and just blow, uh, blowing by the 6. Uh, watch for that. I may have just jinxed the dude, but... Whatever. <laughs> It's not my pro yeah, not my problem. <laughs> Unless 
looks cool. Yep. Uh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Uh, McFadden's screwed though. Way high, and I think Will Parrish is gonna be the uh, guy who picks him up. No, Arthur Xavier is. I thought I saw something exciting happening up here, and I kind of here comes Holmes. Yeah, you know, Holmes is trying to make something happen. Oh, and this this is it. Here's here's what's happening, and here comes Roy Ribbleton. He's gonna make the pass, and Lucas Holmes is gonna try and get up right behind him. The uh, two technical children's cars. Uh, of course, all ratings in this are equal. Three wide for a second. That's not going to end well. Yep, he does have help. That's going to give him the advantage. And uh, it's. Yeah, I really hope this comes down to a good and blast lap battle. comes Moscow. Moscow to the inside, and he's gonna make it. Rivelton has just uh, lost the lead. Oh, he's not gonna lose many positions, so he's still in second. He's still in second. Didn't lose many positions. He's gonna have a 16 pushing him. The uh, 16 driven by Declan, Declan Wellington Turner. That's a mouthful. Uh, his name didn't even his uh, full last name didn't even fit in the in our the uh, title screen whatever. But uh, no, now Cody Smart's behind him. Oh, and he's gonna ditch him. Yeah, it is Bronson Minnick. Oh, who's in the 47? Uh, Nathan Will with some big PP plays. Right on the quarter panel. Here. Uh, the uh, a big faulty product. The big faulty product. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does have help. Uh, three laps to go. I'm not sure. They haven't been able to pass Moscow since he got the lead. Uh... Oh, here comes the 97. Ziggy Rhodes, can he go two for two on super speedways? <laughs> can he go two for two on super speed races? And he may, he just screwed himself. <laughs> that was all on him. That was all on him. He just sent it into the corner. And it did not work. Here comes Jackson Dalton, though. We have two laps to go. Two, two laps to go. Uh, they've got to do something, or else Mel Moscow is gonna win. Which I, I don't have anything against the guy, but I'm talking from their perspective. And they don't want him to win. Uh, oh, no, 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 we're just not gonna catch him. He's out of turn four, I think. Yeah, that's turn four. It's there's only uh, one lap left. They're not catching. Cody Smart has just uh, lost second almost. Doesn't have any help coming to the white flag. White flag is out. Bill Musco has uh, one lap to go. One lap to hold them off. With how bad they've been doing, I don't think they're going to be able to catch him. Catching him, oh boy! I did not expect them to catch him, but that this could be the decider here. Who's Cody Smart? Cody Smart's gonna send it into turn four, three. He's gonna make the pass. Cody Smart has just passed him. Here comes Ziggy Rose. He has help. No, he gets behind him. He's gonna push Cody Smart to the race win here at Coca-Cola. And Cody Smart, yeah, Cody Smart is uh, your Tristan C500 champion from the uh, six car for David Reagan. I didn't think they would. I really did not think they would have caught him. They were halfway down the backstretch. He was exiting turn four. 
I did not think they would catch him in one lap, but they did. They caught him. And uh, the PP Mobile. PP Mobile in second. Yeah, they might have. And uh, let's go over your final results. Cody Smart winning. They did not go as fast as I thought they would. He had a he had a slow last lap. I've seen them go like 250 here. That is he went 195. Wow. That is not very fast. And, uh, Cody Smart in first, Ziggy Rhodes in second, Jackson Dalton in third, uh, Vale Musco in fourth, John McFadden in fifth, Will Parrish in sixth, uh, Joshua Harrison in seventh, Roy Ribbleton in eighth. Ribbleton was like third on the last lap, wasn't he? He, w he was up front on the last lap. Yeah, I think he might have got screwed by the lap car. Uh, uh, Arthur Xavier in ninth, uh, Renato Moreno in tenth, uh, Jeff Hawk in eleventh, Lucas Holmes in twelfth. He he brought up a big charge up to the front on the restart. Couldn't do anything with it though. Uh, Trey Smith thirteenth, Stephen Collin fourteenth, Cole Raymond, your pull sitter, was involved in that wreck on like lap fifteen, I think it was of Brown there. Uh, Charged up from like 30 at 36th, maybe I think to a 15th. So, a round of applause to him. Well, pat, pat, pat yourself on the back, buddy. You did good <laughs> in a virtual race. Uh, Logan Williams 16th, Roberto Crown Jr. 17th, Luke Breadstick in 18th, Patrick Mahomes in 19th. Uh, one position off of his car number. Caleb Rose in 20th, Ethan Hoffman in 21st, Gavin Beers in 22nd, uh, Delcan Wellington Turner, as, or as the game says, Wellington Turn, because, like I said, it would not fit in the uh, last name box. Uh, Nathan Stapleton in 24th, apologies. Uh, Alejandro Cruz Jr. in 25th, and yes, I have figured out how to say his name. Uh, Bronson Minnick in 26th, Wyatt Floor in 27th, Nathan Will in 28th, uh, Joshua Henderson 29th, uh, Enrique Enrique pa pa Paladino Jr. Uh, oh, why did I say Jr.? <laughs> Apologies. Uh, he's in 30th. Uh, Barham Pool in 31st, Brandon Yodel in 32nd, Ryan Benjamin 33rd, uh, Ash Jacobson, that's his name, uh, he's in 34th, Owen Miles in 35th, Zachary Davis in 36th, uh, Michael Pollitt in 37th, Eli Bright in 38th, uh, Keegan Thompson 39th, and Nathan Smith 40th. Uh, unsurprisingly, almost all the guys who were involved in that wreck uh, finished 35th on back. Except for Ryan Benjamin and uh, Cole Raymond. I am still shocked about that. He went from like 35th to 15th. So, congratulations, my man. You know. I don't really know what else there is to talk about about this race, but uh, I'm sure everyone in the premiere chat and in the comments will have a lot to talk about. And uh, like I said, he kept it short and sweet, only about 35 minutes. So this is uh, me and Fisher uh, signing off. Hopefully he will be on for more races. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this that is us signing off.